My name is Red Whitaker, and I'm associated with Carnegie Mellon University and Astrobotic Technologies. My life is uh, robots, robots, and robots, uh, particularly related to uh, purposes on the moon. For NIAC, I am investigating technology to explore uh, skylights and caves. These skylights are immense uh, holes the size of a building, and the great challenges are uh, how a robot might uh, approach, uh, descend into, uh, navigate around uh, in the pit, and then go back into the cave and return uh, with a successful exploration. To date, I have uh, created uh, first robots, uh, first sensing, first software for modeling and navigation, and uh, I've sent robots uh, into mines uh, as an analog for the lava tubes, and sent ro robots into uh, quarries and uh, surface mines as an analog to skylights and uh, uh, built the first uh, three-dimensional models of those environments. Something so unique about the lava tubes is that they are the one destination that combines the trifecta of science, exploration, and resources. The lava tubes have been uh, imagined for decades, but no missions have been conceived because there's been no way to get in. Now that skylights are discovered, uh, exploration of this lava tubes is inevitable. The, the tunnels and caves are authentic exploration. Uh, meaning that there is no way to preview them from orbit. This is a game worth playing, and uh, if all were known, my sense is these early missions will be very economical relative to our uh, current view of what it takes to do a landed robot mission. NIAC is an incredible culture specifically for this ambition. NIAC has considered uh, the lava tubes before there was any prospect of mission. My sense is that NIAC uh, saw the future and uh, uh, took a shot.